Now, Jimmy, don't ask me any curly questions because I've only got a vocab of about four words at the moment. Where were you at the earthquake? Right. Where was I? Mm -hmm. I was at the top floor of the Argyle Hotel holding onto the balcony. <laughs> well, we're just coming off a strange night. We've both been in an earthquake. Mm -hmm. I was rolling around at 3 o'clock in the morning like a, some bad ride at the circus. Uh, you thought you probably had too much to drink, didn't you, Dan? Uh, no, I thought, finally, finally, the world's moving the way I walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange experience. So everybody's a little shaky as we go into this <clears> thing. <throat> uh, who would have thought in casting to put you in L.A. Confidential, Mystery Alaska, and The Insider? These are roles that have nothing to do with each other. They're so far apart, and it's just a credit to you that you've been able to do such great jobs in all three of those. Uh, it's just an unusual thing. No one can typecast you, can they? Um, well, yeah, they probably can, mate, but I just get about doing my, my job, you know, and then I do the things that appeal to me. You know, I've got a very, I suppose, very, you know, a, a eclectic sense of humor. <laughs> you don't even look like you. I mean, people won't recognize you when we see a clip here. I mean, they'll see your eyes, but that was pretty much a metamorphosis. These ones. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> uh, does it help when you have, like, different hair and, and that type of thing? Yeah, I mean, it, all all of uh, all the characters, you know, it starts from the time you put the start putting the clothes on, you know, and it sort of it leads you down to a different place, you know, mm -hmm. different way of walking and stuff. I had a lot of video footage of, of Jeffrey, you know, because there was all the outtakes from the 60 Minutes. There was all the various uh, news stories that had been done on him, and there was also the complete deposition that he gave in, in uh, Pascagoula. So I had a lot of footage to, to work off, you know. Could you relate to the guy? Did you understand, you know, what his life was going through? I think it, um, for me, the, the key thing was when I actually met him. I didn't want to meet him because I was kind of scared of playing a, a real character. But when I, I did meet him, I asked him some really tough questions because I'm a bastard like that. <laughs> and um, it was a very, very emotional conversation. And I got up from that table and... I was just walking out to the car park. We actually met in a, a golf course. I was walking out to the car park, and it was just a very strong feeling inside me that I must honor him. You know, he uh, is not a simple man by any means. You know, he's not uh, an easy man to know, but uh, he's a good man. Doing the right thing sometimes is very hard in life, mm. especially under this that kind of pressure. You know, he, but he really thought he was going to get killed sometime, didn't he? Well, I think. His, uh, you know, I mean, Jeffrey's very upfront and honest. He said in the past, you know, they could have paid me off, you know, <laughs> could have spent a million dollars getting rid of him instead of twenty million dollars trying to destroy him, you know. Um, but he, he, at the end of the day, came to the conclusion that the only way he could really keep his family safe was by telling the truth. Mm. But it is a complicated story, isn't it? It's not something when you go to the movie. You know, there's good guys, bad guys. I mean, there are some, I guess the tobacco people, if you have to make them bad, they're bad. But it's a complicated story in some ways. It's not just easy. People are in some weird situations. There's a lot of information, and the characters are not simple. Mm -hmm. You know, they're flawed human beings. No they're one's like just black and white. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Al Pacino, when you, I, I could watch him act in anything, I think. I've never seen a bad Al Pacino performance. I don't know if there has ever been one. Uh, is it fun when you're working with that level of actors? Does it bring you up? Does it change the way you act? Um, well, it's exciting, you know. It's sort of, uh, you go into work and you're working with one of the greatest contemporary actors in American cinema. It does tend to perk you up. Do you watch how he gets to where he does? I mean, does he have a certain thing that you kind of over there watching him do before he goes on camera? Or does it just pretty much happen? Well, it, Al likes to do a lot of takes. So, you know, he'll sort of uh, basically cover every square inch of the emotional ground that, you know, uh, could be required. So, um, no, he doesn't, you know, do anything, you know, like sits out in the corner and go, <laughs> 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 just gets on with the gig, you know. Uh, it, it's some Christopher Plummer is another actor in this Pretty movie. Pretty fabulous performance. Uh, he's, he's fan there's a lot of great actors in this movie. Yeah, yeah, all the way through. Are you have high hopes for this? You think I, I, I think it's pretty much a shock. I'd be shocked if it doesn't get an Oscar nomination for Best Picture and a lot of other things. Uh -huh. It's that kind of movie. Well, I think it's a really good film. You know, I think um, I, Michael's getting better and better as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. young fella. <laughs> You've lived through this Oscar thing before, though, with L.A. Confidential. Is mm -hmm. that a fun ride or not so fun a ride? Well, I didn't really get to experience it last time because I was working, you know. So, uh, you know, I, I was um, I was uh, 36 degrees below in 
Canada <laughs> freezing my butt off uh, last time when it was on. So um, we'll just we'll just see what happens. You know, it's very very early days. There's a lot of great films coming out this summer. You know, yeah, I think there are this Australian summer, which that's true. That's right. we're, we're having it really close <laughs> to our. Sorry about that. You'll have some competition, which but this is certainly a high quality movie. You know, sir, you are you proud of it? I hope, aren't you? Well, I think it's a really good film. Yeah. Are you yeah. hard on yourself when yeah. you watch things? You, is it tough to watch a Russell Crowe movie? Um, the first time is always difficult because all you're thinking about is the stuff that you didn't do or the <laughs> stuff that's not right, you know. But then after that, you know, when you get over that, it's sort of, you know, I can be kind of objective about it, you know. Yeah. You did a good job. Thanks, man. It's okay. Thank you. Cheers.